Hey, what's going on, my Advocate viewers? My name's Ethan Cade. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I want to talk about why the Evercade VS is the only retro gaming console you will ever need. Now, the Evercade VS obviously came out in 2021. Already had a huge run of games available on it, thanks to the predecessor of the Evercade handheld, with about I think it's like 30 carts now available to play on the Evercade VS. You got loads of choices. So, obviously, you have got your home console collections. You got everything from your Atari's 2600 to your PlayStation One. Obviously, there's a few missing systems in there, like the PC engines are not got games on there yet. Yet, being the keyword, you never know what's going to happen in the future. Then you've got the microcomputers. Obviously, you've got the C64 collection, which is shown here. And obviously, it's been confirmed that we're getting Amiga games next year. Evercade, which opens the door to widely new possibilities of, you know, thousands of more games and, you know, developers and all sorts. As well as homebrews. And then you've got the... Uh, Arcade games from arcade legends like Irem, and you know you get in, you know we're getting Turplane, we're getting all these other stuff. So the game variety alone is enough for you to want to get VS. Also, another major point of why it's the only ever retro console you need. <coughs> Sorry, is actually the cost because the cost of the ever VS is really cheap compared to most other retro consoles. Now, obviously, you can argue that you haven't got your Sega, you haven't got your Nintendo, you haven't got your Konami. There's a lot of game developers that haven't signed on to release games on Evercade, but there's a lot of games on Evercade. Now, I think you've got your microcomputer games, you've got your arcade games, you've got your home console and your handheld games, and now you're also getting brand new indie games, including home, or not home, but including native games. Like Cathedral, which runs natively on the Evercade VS and the Evercade Handheld and Evercade EXP. So, if you want, if you're looking for a, play, a way to play classic games, this is a cheap alternative. Now, people will argue, well, you know, a lot of the games on here are shovelware. A lot of games on a lot of systems are shovelware, right? And at least with Blaze, they've put them in these little collections where you have different offerings of different games and publishers and you know all sorts. You know, some collections have some collections have two games, some have twenty. It's all about choice and it's all about variety, which is another good uh, big thing because take renovation, the renovation collection, right? Getting a single one of those games on the original hardware would cost you about four hundred dollars. You know, in a place like UK, like where I live, renovation never released their games over here. So we couldn't even get their games without having to import them. Whilst with the Evercade you can then just get the cartridge for like what, seventeen, eighteen pound, pop it in your VS. Boom, Bob's your uncle. And that's what the whole point of this is. The whole point of this is to be a cheap and affordable option to play retro games and to experience some of these games. And the only thing I think Blaze is missing at the minute is having some exclusives. But that will probably come in time. We might get some little indie devs who decide, I want to make a game only on Evercade. They do. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Do you think the Evercade VS is the only retro game console you're ever going to need? Or do you think, you know, you should still get Sega Dreamcast or Sega Saturn or, you know, 3DO would... Who owns, who owns a 3DO in 2022? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I've been Heathcote signing out. Peace.